beautiful new grange of Ireland. The massive Irish tomb that's older than the pyramids of Egypt. The opening of the ancient tomb of Newgrange in County Meath, Ireland, perfectly aligns with the rising sun every winter solstice. The massive tomb complex of Newgrange, Ireland, deserves to be the eighth wonder of the ancient world. This hemispherical tomb just north of Dublin was built 500 years before the Great Pyramid of Giza even existed. Plenty of room in the tomb. Newgrange was built around 3200 BC, hundreds of years before the Great Pyramid of Giza, which was uh, estimated 2500 BC, and Stonehenge of England in 3000 BC. This massive hemispherical tomb is located at the Bruna Boine, Gaelic for the palace or mansion of the River Boine. This three square mile area contains nearly a hundred ancient monuments, including two other large tombs in addition, Newgrange, Noth, Noth and Douth. Newgrange is in between them. The, uh, there's a map of megalithic monuments in the Bruna Boine. Newgrange is a remarkable example of the so-called passage tomb, characteristic of the Neolithic period. Passage tombs in Ireland are often hemispherical and usually atop a hill. The name comes from the long covered passageways leading from a small entryway into the heart of the burial. This is also what we see in these granges in ancient Greece as well and in Asia Minor. They look like they're hills, but they're mass graves. Anyway, going back to this, the name comes from the long covered passageways leading from a small entryway into the heart of the burial mound. Most passage tombs are in Northern Europe, Ireland, Britain, Scandinavia, Northern Germany, and the Netherlands. They're also found around the Mediterranean and the northern coast of Africa. Measuring 262 feet in diameter, about the length of a New York City block, Newgrange is located in County Meath, County Meath in Eastern Ireland, north of Dublin. Its mound, made of quartz and granite stones from the mountains of Ireland, contains a single tomb with the remains of five individuals. Some grave goods, including small beads and gold jewelry from the Roman period, survived in the tomb, and human-made upright stones were placed in the earth next to the tomb, perhaps after it was initially built. Why did the ancients build Newgrange? So why did the ancient inhabitants of Ireland decide to construct Newgrange and other megalithic monuments? Unfortunately, the people who resided in Neolithic County Meath did not leave a large archaeological record behind them. One of the great anomalies of the Boyne Valley is the contrast between the magnificent and enduring ritual monuments and the somewhat ephemeral evidence for daily life. This is what Moiris O. Sulebain, archaeology professor of University College Dublin, told Irish Times. He said there's no evidence of a large-scale settlement such as would explain the organization and sophistication indicated by the tombs. So the people of the Middle Neolithic remain elusive. Every year when the sun rises on the winter solstice, the shortest day and longest night of the year, sunlight shines through a precisely placed opening in the stone walls, illuminating the long hall of the tomb. Why would the ancient Irish have built massive tombs in alignment with the sun's rays? Though they contain human remains, not all passage tombs were just resting places for the rich and famous. In fact, many of them hosted animal rituals. Historians don't know for sure whether New Grange hosted rituals, but it's possible people flocked to the site in the solstice to welcome the rebirth of the sun. Claire Tuffy, manager of Brew Na Boine Visitor Center, told CNN. She says, we think for the people who built it, it was far more than just a tomb. It would have been a place where people gathered. It would have been a place where the ancestors were honored. It's a symbol of the people's wealth, and it's a place probably where they interceded between the living and the dead. Newgrange is also decorated with massive stones, many of which are covered in intricate designs. The entrance stone located, you guessed it, at the entrance of the tomb, the passage tomb, is covered in engraved swirls and geometric patterns. The entrance stone is of 
97 curbstones or sizable blocks bordering the Newgrange tumulus, tumulus meaning the tomb, uh, the detail present on the grave, the engravings and others scattered around Newgrange attest to its importance for the community who ordered to build it. Archaeologists believe the Newgrange site lay dormant from the Bronze Age, but in the 3rd and 4th centuries AD, the site re-emerged in the archaeological record. Excavators have found artifacts from late Roman period dated between 350 and 450 AD. Quote, the most likely explanation was that the site was used as a cult site in the 3rd and 4th century AD, end quote. Ragnall O'Floin, head of collections for the National Museum of Ireland, told Irish Times. For more than a thousand years, New Grange lay dormant. It was, un it was not until 1699 that New Grange re-emerged both literally and physically. In that year, local landowner Charles Campbell ordered his territory surveyed in order to quarry one particular mound for stone. And while excavating, Campbell's men, quote, came at last to a very broad flat stone, rudely carved and placed edgewise at the bottom of the mount. This they discovered at the door of the cave, end quote. This was the entrance uh, of the stone, obviously. Welsh naturalist Edward Lind soon popped up for a visit, and Lind drew up the first known map of New Grange. Over the next few centuries, historians widely speculated as to New Grain's origins. Did the Phoenicians trek over from the Levant to build this giant tomb? Did Roman soldiers build a subterranean temple of the god Mithras here? Nope, a professor, as Professor Michael O'Keeley discovered in the 20th century. O'Keeley excavated New Grange between 1962 and 1975. He worked tirelessly to preserve the deteriorating state of the tomb stopped the general public from taking souvenirs home with them. And in December 1967, O'Kelly made the most remarkable discovery of all. He stood in the passage to narrow pathway and watched sunlight shine through at last. Today, New Grange is still a site of international importance. Archaeologists discovered new features in Brew and Boyne all the time, most recently due to an epic drought. But uh, newcomers also come to New Grange for spiritual reasons. Those seeking mystical connections to ancient Ireland flock there each winter solstice each year. Only a limited people are allowed in to see the sunlight stream through the opening, but all celebrate the annual celestial happening in ancient fashion together. This article, Massive Irish Tomb That's Older Than the Pyramids, was originally created for All That Interesting. It's published here under Creative Commons on Collective Spark by Steve McCamley. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Capota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.